Ravens working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Hey guys, welcome to Season 3 of Hitman. We are into Episode 1 and we're going to Dubai. It's a great mission, this one. Two targets, and we're going with the generic loadout, lockpick, fiberwire, and silver baller. Let's roll that intro scene. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets. To use and throw away. To do the unthinkable. The unforgivable. And it never gave us a second thought. Until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? <laughs> what the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, 
So Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Really dramatic entrance there from uh, 0047, very James Bond-esque, as we begin season three in Dubai. So we're gonna go straight around to our left here and through the staff only doors and into the staff area. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down into the elevator shaft and we're gonna climb up the pipe here. Once we get to the top of it, we're gonna to move to the left and we're gonna go between these two NPCs. One's on the phone, one's doing a job so they won't notice you and we're gonna go into the kitchen area. Again, two NPCs in here. The one on the left is washing up, they won't notice you. The one on the right is just busying himself and when he's finished with looking at this food, he is gonna move away to the top left hand side of the room and we can circle round and grab the knife. We need the knife to actually perform the setup for the kill. So what we're going to do is we're going to assassinate both targets in the parachute fail method. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually trigger the evacuation procedure, sabotage both their parachutes, and then watch them jump off the tallest building in the world and fall to their death. Nice light entertainment for us all. So we're going to cut straight across the atrium again and go up these stairs. Up, back up these next group and then we're going to go right round to the right. We're going to drop down into the elevator shaft here to the left and up this pipe here. So what we're going to do is going to move across and move into the security room. So what we can do here is sabotage the cameras. Nice and easy to get them turned off and we don't have to worry about them again. And we're going to go into the security room. What we need to do, the reason we brought the lockpick is to get back out of this room. So we're going to go to the safe and go 6927, grab the, elevator, uh, the evacuation key card, and we're going to go back where we came from. So this is the lockpick requirement here. But now that's done, that's nice and easy. We've dropped back down and we're going to climb all the way up this pipe until we get to the next level. As we get to here, we'll just hang here and we can just use our instinct to make sure that the guards are move, not looking. So that guard is just moving to sit down. We can move around. He's spotted something, he's inquisitive, but by the time we've managed to get this key card out, again, 6927 on the code, he'll get bored and leave us alone. So you can see him, he's by the door. Once he's given up hope, he's gonna turn and walk away. So what we're gonna do, is keep moving along out these doors here and this brings us out onto the helipad. So the helipad's one of the cool ways to leave the mission. Um, you just need to find the key which is just on the gantry uh, on the layer below us. But what we're going to do, we're going to go drop down here onto this gangway like and we're going to go up this ladder. I want them to so at this point just use your instinct to try and spot where the I guy is in this room. Idea, so we can see him, he's walking over to this side. Once he's there, we can move behind him, absolutely no issues, and loop round behind these units here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go out this door and round to the left. And just as we pass this giant pillar, we're gonna jump up and we're gonna wait for these two guards to finish their conversation. Just make sure you're out of sight. Don't wanna get spotted by any patrols. But basically, we're just waiting for these two guys to leave their post, which is by the two parachutes. Next to the parachutes, as you can see, is actually the evacuation button. There's two buttons, which is why we've got two cards. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually loop up, trigger the top one first, come down, and then trigger this one. But first, we're going to sabotage both the parachutes. So they're talking about the drill that's going to be run tomorrow for the evacuation. We managed to get here and we're going to trigger it ourselves. So we wait for that conversation to finish. Then we can sneak in, open these two boxes up. So just hold down Y because it will latch onto the next one, sabotage that one, go to the next one, 
and sabotage that one. So that's nice and easy. They're both done. So what we're going to do, we're going to sneak back out these doors. And we're just going to wait a second because at the minute the target's up the top. If we go up there now, there's too many guards and we'll get spotted. So what we're going to do is we'll just wait for him to move on. We'll go up the mantle, up the drain pipe. We'll actually drop back down a little bit to make sure we don't get spotted by this guard. And this bit is all about just waiting for the right timing. So you can see that Carl Ingram's wandering off now. The guard just in front of us is going to prepare to move. And as soon as he starts moving, we can start moving up the, the drain pipe bit. So we'll move up. And we'll move to the hang. We'll move along to the right until we can vault over the rail. So up we go. Over the rail. And we're going to crouch down and hide behind these sofas. So keeping an eye on this guard, he's going to just basically walk back to where he just came from. So we just have to be patient and wait for him to move. And once he starts moving, we can proceed through this door and then basically get ready to trigger the evacuation. So if we sneak out here. What we're going to do now is we're going to use our instinct and we're looking at this guard at the bottom. As soon as he starts his animation to start moving, we are going to trigger the alarm. Right, so he's moving now, so we're going to evac hit the evacuate button upstairs. We go downstairs, just be wary of the staff moving around. Sometimes they will try and spot you, but they often don't. We're going to loop round wide here. Okay. The cleaning staff thinks she spotted us. Don't run into this bit like I did, that's damn. <laughs> I just nearly got spotted because I went the wrong way. And we're going to run around here and then we're going to trigger this evacuation button as well. So we can see now, target locked down, target is going to start progressing towards the helipad. So whilst it tells you, get to the helipad, they're going to be trying to escape. That's not the bit we're really interested in. What they'll do is they'll get to the helipad and what will happen at the helipad is they'll be told that they're not ready. They can't do an evacuation today and the drill is tomorrow. And despite their protestation, the, the helipad staff won't be able to evacuate them this way. So what this means is they'll then fall back on the parachute escape and then that is where they'll be killed. So if we go back round, loop a big, big circle round just to make sure you don't get spotted. Drop down the, uh, the ladder here and we're just going to stand and have a quick look at Dubai. We'll speed this up a bit because we have to wait for them to go through the motions of everything. We've left the helipad. Their last chance is by parachute. Make sure that doesn't happen. When they get to this point, we'll be able to watch them jump off and that'll be it. So what we can do now is we'll speed up time just to keep an eye on what's going on and standard Hitman error message. <laughs> you see the guards moving around and we can see that the two guys are moving towards. Here we go, they're fleeing. Got the escape icons above their heads. Slow it down now as we can watch them jumping off. There's one. You got him. Gone. And there's Marcus two. Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Gone. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. Easily done. Not done Quite a fun way to finish the mission. And now we're just going to wait for no the, the guards to leave at the, at the top. Because as you can see, I don't want to go up there right now. <laughs> there's a lot of people there. But they'll they'll give up pretty quick. Which is quite bizarre seeing as their bosses have just leapt to their doom. So once they all clear off a bit, we can head back through this door and we'll go up the ladder and escape just above us. Ironically, we are going to wingsuit off as they tried to do, but just a bit more successfully. So you can see now they've dispersed upstairs. We can use our instinct if we need to just to double check. There's still a few up out. Once these two guys give up, we'll be able to move up and get out. No, 
we go. They're moving off. And we get to a point we can move up this ladder. Move round to our left. Next to the machine. And it's funny that we had the same coloured parachute as they did. And we're out. Off into the Dubai skyline. So that's episode one done. Dubai finished. I've done a lot on these missions. I've, I've really enjoyed them and bought into them. Got 20 out of 20 on mastery. Top 10,000. Really pleased with that. Ten, just over 10 minutes. There are lots of ways to do this quicker, but that's probably my favourite way to attack this mission and to do it that way. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. It's been really enjoyable. See you next time. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And, well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough.